Now I want to show you how to move the entire row based on check boxes from one spreadsheet to another spreadsheet. Previously I showed you how to move the rows from one sheet to another sheet, but today you will learn how to move them between two Google Sheets. It has a coding part and it is so simple, but you can find it in the description and also in our website. Okay, let's get started. First, let's create two Google Sheets. The main sheet where all the data is entered. The archive sheet where checked rows will be moved. Let's make the sheet more organized and user friendly. First, we need headers for both main and archive sheets. In the first row, I enter task ID. Task name, responsible person, deadline, status, priority, and move to archive. Now I make it as table. and copy the headers to the archive sheet. To ensure only valid dates are entered in the deadline column, I prefer using a date picker. To do this, data, data validation, then create a new rule. I select the deadline column, set the criteria to is valid date, and choose reject input to prevent invalid entries. Now only proper dates can be added. To ensure users can only select from specific choices in the status and priority columns, I add drop down menus with color coded options. I select the relevant column. Go to the data tab, data validation, and create a new rule. Under criteria, I choose drop down and enter the predefined options. To enhance visibility, I assign a unique color to each choice, making it easier to identify at a glance. Now user can also select from the available options. The options are not started, in progress, pending review, completed, On hold and cancel. I repeat the same steps for the priority column. I select the column, go to the data tab, data validation, and create a new row. Under criteria, I choose drop down, enter the priority levels, and assign different colors for each option. Now users can easily select the appropriate priority level with clear visual cues. The options are high, medium, low, Urgent, and Critical. Now I 
it's time to add check boxes for column G. So to insert check boxes, highlight column G, go to insert tab, check box. Alright, everything seems good. Now comes to the fun part. Writing the Google Apps script to move an entire row to the archive spreadsheet when the checkbox is checked. To automate this, we need Google Apps Script. Click on Extension, Apps Script in your main sheet. Delete any default code. Alright, I type the code, then explain it to you. Now this is the script that automatically moves checked rows to another spreadsheet. You can access the code and the sheet through the link provided in the description. Let's quickly break down the script. It triggers automatically when a checkbox is edited. It checks if the edited happened in column G, checkbox column. If the checkbox is checked, it copies the entire row. Next, it pastes the row into the archive sheet in another spreadsheet. I should paste the ID of my archive sheet here. So I go to the archive sheet and copy anything between D and edit. Then paste it in the script. It then deletes the row from the main sheet to keep it clean. I click on Save icon to save the code. The next step is adding an unstable trigger. In the Apps script, go to the Triggers, Clock icon, add a new trigger. Function to run on Edit. Event source from a spreadsheet. Event type on edit. Okay, everything seems good. You'll find a link to both the code and the sheet in the description. Now that we've written the script, let's test it. Go back to your main sheet. Fill in the rows and check the box in any row. Watch as the row instantly moves to the archive sheet in another spreadsheet. And also, the below rows shift up. The script is working perfectly. And that's it. You now have a fully working Google Sheets automation that moves rows based on check boxes. This is great for task tracking, approvals, or any automated data management system. You can find the link to the code and the sheet in the description. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that will improve your skills in Google Sheets. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.